Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Clear Hue. If you are new here, Namaste, my name is Rakshita. This channel is all about skincare, wellness and makeup. So if that interests you, don't forget to subscribe. Okay guys, so as you can see, my backdrop has changed yet again. I'm so sorry for that. But this time, this one's gonna stay. I actually have been changing cities. Earlier, I was with my parents because of the lockdown and now my colleges have reopened. I am a medical student. I am pursuing MBBS and that is one reason why I cannot upload things that uh, frequently because I have shitloads of studies to do literally I I go to postings in the hospital and everything so for me to create content like a lot as compared to the other creators is a little more difficult since I'm an MBBS student so I hope you guys really understand that so today's video is going to be about winter skincare now I will share a few products not much but just a few products that I think would be suitable for winters and mostly I would be sharing tips and tricks to how to keep your skin well moisturized well hydrated and just feeling good during the winter months as winter months are way more harsh on our skin as compared to the summers so without any further ado let's get straight into the video in chronological order the first thing that we do in our skincare routine is to wash our face now generally in summers we wash our faces with cold water but now the tip that i'm gonna give you is a tip that i personally follow the whole year round and i think so should you that is washing your face with lukewarm water please do not wash your face with very cold or very hot water very cold water could just be a shock to your face and i just don't like that i think it's a little too harsh on your face it could damage your capillaries and very hot water causes a lot of trans epidermal water loss so the ideal temperature for washing your face is lukewarm water basically gungune pani se mood hona hai aapko and when you're taking a shower or when you're taking a bath please remember to not take a shower or a bath with very hot water i know during the winters it's like really hard to control yourself from taking a bath with really really hot water because it, it's really relaxing after a you know long day but once again i am requesting don't do not do that very very hot water that we take a shower in normally results in trans epidermal water loss not just on our face but all over our body which creates a lot of dryness and itchiness in our skin and this advice to me came from a very unexpected place which is my father so papa told me about this tip of not taking a shower with very hot water and taking a shower with lukewarm water instead because during the winters when i you know like take a shower with very hot water it would cause very itchy and dry skin on my body specifically so he suggested me to take a shower with luke lukewarm water and that really worked but i do know ki bahut zyada mushkil hota hai to control yourself from taking a shower with that hot water so the one tip that i have for you if you're taking a shower with like really hot water then one do not wash your face during the shower try washing your face separately with lukewarm water all right and when you're like just done taking a like your shower or your bath keep your moisturizer next to you in the shower okay wahi rakhna hai aapko apne moisturizer ko apne paas kyunki wahi bathroom mein steam hai after you've taken a shower aur aap usi waqt when your skin is a little damp try putting your moisturizer literally right after that thoda sa pahunchna hai let your skin be a little damp and then put on your moisturizer immediately after your shower within 3 to 4 minutes preferably that would prevent trans epidermal water loss which is basically the you know role of your moisturizer be it a body moisturizer or a face moisturizer so that would make sure that your skin is not dry itchy and dehydrated okay so two of my personal favorite face washes during the winter are these two one is by episoft it's the cleansing lotion by episoft and the other is sugandha centella green tea face wash if you've seen any other video of mine you'd know these are my two star face washes for the whole year round but this one specifically for winters is literally the best for all skin types be it very very dry to 
someone who's very oily because it's very true to its name like it says it's a cleansing lotion it genuinely feels like a lotion it doesn't foam up much very oily skin skin types might like something else because you know it does not give that satisfying feel but it's extremely gentle and i'm very oily skin type and it suits me pretty well but if you're still someone who wants a little more you know like cleansing feeling on your skin while still you know using a very gentle face wash this is the one for you the Suganda Centella green tea face wash in the unscented variant try going in with this one it's just amazing it's again very very gentle for your skin and it won't strip your skin of anything so these are my two top picks of face washes for winters now there's something that you can do that i personally do in winters that i do not wash my face with um, you know a face wash in the morning sometimes i do if i wake up extremely oily but the other days i just wash my face with water and then continue my skincare routine which is a moisturizer a serum and a sunscreen and then i'd leave the house and you could just you know do the same you could just wash your face at night and just skip washing your face in the morning entirely especially drier skin types i think you should not wash your face in the morning at all it's just unnecessary and this the same thing for when you take like a bath or a shower try using you know a very gentle body wash or try switching if you're someone who uses soaps try switching to glycerine based soaps for instance pear soap it's it, it's a glycerine based soap and for me personally it's been a really gentle soap though it is scented for so for those of you who have uh, you know who are very very sensitive to fragrance even on their bodies skip that but try getting a glycerine soap or a very very gentle body wash all right but again you do not have to wash your body with the soap or with the body wash every single day just do it three to four times a week and that's fine the other days just rinse your body with water and you're good to go okay now coming down to moisturizing your skin which is extremely important during the winter months now i'm going to share my favorite moisturizers for the winters shortly but let me tell you what to look for in your winter moisturizer okay so when you're looking out for a winter moisturizer try looking out for moisturizers that are heavy in emollients the kind of emollients that you should look for in your skincare are fatty alcohols or uh, caprylic triglyceride or petrolatum squalane and uh, you know oat kernel oil and things like that i leave a list on screen of emollients that you should look for in a moisturizer during the winters now again for very very dry skin types i think I think the Cetaphil moisturizing cream is a great moisturizer for you and for those of you who want like something more than the Aveeno Dermexa cream is again a very thick emollient moisturizer for very dry skin types all right I personally have a very very oily skin type and I will share the moisturizers that I use during the winter months so during the day I use this one by Suganda it's the white lotus moisturizer or instead of this I use the Cipla X moisturizer now even even you know these are like my favorite moisturizers if you've been following me these are literally my staple moisturizers both of these moisturizers have niacinamide as their second ingredient niacinamide as we know is great for skin brightening oil controlling agent so again for oily skin type person it's great this moisturizer personally is for those of you who just don't like moisturizers or for like who break out using any moisturizer this one won't break you out it's a gel moisturizer very very lightweight and just the best for extremely oily skin types but for me personally even i'm very oily but for me personally the one that i love the most is this one the cipla exila the one that i just shared this is a little more cream based instead of being gel based and this has a little more emollient as compared to the suganda one so for me ideally i think this is a little better for the winter months so that is why sometimes during the during the day i use this one and during the night i use this one now the third moisturizer that i'm just a big fan of ever since i was a kid is this one by sebamed it's the sebamed moisturizing cream again something introduced to me by my father so shocking revelations in this video but yes this one is again a great moisturizer though this is scented the other two were unscented this one does have fragrance so if you have a fragrance allergy or if you're sensitive to fragrances try 
using the other two instead of this but if you're someone who's fine with fragrances and want something a little more emollient than the other two for instance those of you who have combination to normal skin types this is the one to go for it's a great moisturizer the tip that i'm going to give you though you should be following it like the whole year round but for winter specifically there is very little humidity in the air as we know it's very dry so make sure you are applying moisturizer on damp skin please do not apply moisturizer on dry skin because most of these moisturizers have humectants in them and humectants are substances that attract water and give it to your skin now if these humectants like glycerin and hyaluronic acid do not get water from the environment then it's going to uh, you know absorb water or uh, you know like pull water out of your skin which would eventually dehydrate your skin and that's not what you want it's literally the opposite of what you were trying to do so make sure that you're applying these moisturizers on damp skin all right one thing that you can do now this is just optional if you can afford it literally go for it try getting yourself a humidifier a cool mist humidifier and try keeping it on all night when you sleep or even during the day basically a humidifier would make sure that the air around you is not dry and it won't dry out your skin overall so if you can invest in a humidifier try getting one okay so one thing that's my absolute favorite is uh, squalane during the winter months now squalane is naturally present in your skin as well this is pure olive squalane by dr shades i'm so sorry about uh, the packaging I have used up like most of it hence the packaging is just a little bit iffy at this point but again the squalane is an amazing amazing thing to use during the winters it's extremely moisturizing it has a little bit of a watery oil consistency this is what the squalane looks like it's extremely watery but it's a little bit like oily in consistency a very light quick absorbing oil my favorite way to apply squalane is after the moisturizer once i am done with my serum and moisturizer stage then to seal everything in i'm going to use squalane this would make sure that there's no transepidermal water loss it would moisturize your skin combat that dryness and hydrate it if you don't have it already please invest in a bottle of squalane this is not going to react in your skin this one's fragrance free you can get that even suganda has one that's also great indulgio has one too but remember the ones that indulgio has uh, have fragrance there are variants that have fragrance so go for the unscented version of that okay actually in the winters please please invest in a bottle of squalane this is going to last you a long time but this is the one thing that is going to save your skin now let's talk about sunscreens now please listen to me carefully chahe kitni kam dhoop ho aapko sunscreen lagana hai no matter what I know there is a misconception that in winter months when you know there's just light sun and itna zyada sharp or itna harsh nahi hoti hai sunlight that you can just skip on sunscreen or when the day is a little bit cloudy you can skip on sunscreen please do not make that mistake the entire year round be it cloudy be it anything you need to apply sunscreen at all times all times of the year please please don't miss out on a sunscreen and for those of you who uh, you know pahadi area mein rehte hain where there's snowing so for those of you who are in areas that are snowy please remember to always wear sunscreen why because uh, when the sun's rays are reflected off of snow wo uv ka damage zyada ho sakta hai aapki skin pe the uv rays are reflected back at your skin because of the snow and in like higher intensity than usual so please make sure when you are in a snowy area to most definitely wear a very very high factor spf please take care of that so winters do not mean that you can skip on sunscreen aap ek high factor spf rose lagaye if you are going out in the sun try using a physical sunscreen instead of a chemical sunscreen because a physical sunscreen is, is much safer in my opinion so a good sunscreen would be the one by la shield the la shield physico matte spf 50 i don't have it in hand right now so i'm going to insert 
insert a picture somewhere use that one or use the sun cross one even that is a physical sunscreen but make sure you are using one एक और इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट आता है केमिकल एक्सफोलिएशन नाउ द थिंग इज दैट लॉट ऑफ पीपल थिंक दैट इन विंटर मंथ्स यू डोंट रियली नीड केमिकल एक्सफोलिएशन बट ट्रूथ बी टोल्ड यू डू इनफैक्ट मोर देन यू डू इन समर्स वाई बिकॉज इन विंटर मंथ्स यू हैव मोर ड्राई स्केली स्किन एंड टू गेट रिड ऑफ दैट यू नीड टू यूज अ केमिकल एक्सफोलियंट जस्ट बी कॉशस अराउंड इट वो तो आपको वैसे भी रहना होता है सो प्लीज़ एक जेंटल सा अच्छा सा केमिकल एक्सफोलियंट प्लीज बी यूजिंग इट एंड मेक श्योर दैट यू आर यूजिंग अ वेरी नाइस इमोलियंट रिच मॉइस्चराइजर आफ्टर दैट इवन इफ यू एन ऑयली स्किन टाइप अच्छे से आपको मॉइस्चराइजर लगाना है फॉर एग्जाम्पल I use the डॉट इन की हाइड्रोपील ग्लो पोशन एज अ केमिकल एक्सफोलियंट लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम्स एंड आफ्टर आई हैव यूज इट आई विल मेक श्योर दैट आई अप्लाई अ गुड मॉइस्चराइजर आई यूज द सीबा मेड वन और द सिपला एक्सिला एज देर अ लिटिल बिट मोर इमोलियंट फॉर एन ऑयली स्किन टाइप पर्सन एंड आई यूज दोज ऑन दोज डेज एंड देन आई यूज माई स्क्वाल इन ऑयल एंड द नेक्स्ट डे आई मेक श्योर कि मैं सनस्क्रीन यूज कर रही हूँ बिकॉज यू हैव यूज एन एसिड अ डे बिफोर ऑन योर फेस एंड योर फेस इज गोइंग टू बी मोर फोटो सेंसिटिव द नेक्स्ट डे तब भी आपको सनस्क्रीन लगाना ही है एनी हाउ तो प्लीज मेक श्योर आप उस तरीके से यूज करें एंड येस इट्स एब्सोलूटली सेफ टू केमिकली एक्सफोलिएट योर फेस ड्यूरिंग विंटर्स लाइक आई जस्ट से दैट द विंटर मंथ्स मेक योर स्किन मच मोर ड्राई डिहाइड्रेटेड एंड मच मोर सेंसिटिव सो इन योर स्किन केयर रूटीन ट्राई अवॉइडिंग फ्रेग्रेंस फॉर इंस्टेंस लाइक आई पर्सनली डोंट हैव अ फ्रेग्रेंस एलर्जी बट आई ट्राई टू अवॉइड फ्रेग्रेंस एज मच एज आई कैन दे आर सर्टन प्रोडक्ट्स दैट आई स्टिल यूज दैट हैव फ्रेग्रेंस इन दैम बट ड्यूरिंग द विंटर मंथ्स आई ट्राई टू नॉट यूज दैम ईदर सो ट्राई completely you know like staying away from fragrance at least in the winter months because your skin is going to be extra sensitive and dry during this time for now these are the only tips that i have for you for the winter months to have good healthy moisturized skin and uh, if there's anything more you want to see from me let me know in the comment section below and if there's any point that i've missed out and you know of even mention that in the comment section below it would be helpful for me and all the other viewers of this video if you like this video don't forget to press that like button and subscribe and do share it with your friends and see you again in the next video till then bye bye